Okay, we're wiping the drive, huh? Oh crap, alright, totally different game now. Okay, on we go. This is an R- <laughs> It's an old school RPG. What on earth? They just introduced like four times as many cards. I'll just throw this in here. Three damage. Oh my god, I won the fight. <laughs> yes! The buff conduit strategy. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. I'm just gonna run with my crummy deck right now. If if I lose to this dude, then I'll do some adjusting. But I think I'm getting a little bit better with my deck. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, the enig enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy. Only thanks. Okay. Uh, do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. Okay, not a bad start. Might have to use a squirrel as a blocking body though right now. So kill off the coyote. Block with the squirrel against the stoat. That's terrible. I'll need a photo of that one's cost. One moment before that one dies. I need to capture its stats. This is some pretty terrible costs and stats. Okay, I gotta block off the coyote. Also, what is up with this blankness? Finally, the sigils. There's none. That will do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. You mean a 0-1 squirrel? Because I want to be very clear, that card sucks. Let's put down Necromancer, huh? So I can get back in this fight. Elk Fawn. Oh, it grows. All right, it's going to move right. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to... I think I will place it here. I think it's just going to be a blocking body, most likely. So it's going to attack, then move. And I'll be able to pick it off. There is nothing I can do right now. That's a shame. I think if I was to change anything about my deck, I'd try to get rid of these. Uh, a few more expensive creatures and replace them with cheaper ones. Okay, this is about to level up. So I have got to block here. I have to block the two damage. Shame it's gonna move, but oh well. Now I can at least summon one of these four costers. I'm gonna place the Drowned Soul here, so I can kill the Elk in one turn. Yeah. Drowned Soul's back. All right, Sentry Drone's good. I can pick off his Coyote. And Death Touch. I'm still in this. Okay, another coyote coming. That's gonna be a little annoying, actually. Oh, I think I die, don't I? I guess if I had one more turn, I would be pretty good. I'm not even gonna read this. I don't give a shit about your gloating. Instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some expensive dudes out of my deck. I no longer want the walkers. And I want to replace it with what I ex hope to work. Some regular creatures. That I can sacrifice bone stuff for. Possibly wolf cub. That's a good one, I think. Elk fawn levels up, levels up nicely. Just to see if I can get them to summon off of my other stuff. All right, let's go. Still, I don't know what's up with the camera. I am going to pick off the coyote. This is a pretty good starting hand. And I think I'll just block this stoat with my bone heap. Cost, it's free. The stat is zero one. It's so good. I could put this out in front of the bullfrog. I will just summon the flying creature. Okay, now I can do something with this. Ooh, but next turn I can get the sarcophagus. I think that's good. Wish I could hit something a little better with the revenant, but I think it's fine. The only question is whether I want to just have it attack directly. I think it'll be fine if I don't have it attack directly. Now the Sigils dies after attacking. Now we've created the most terrible card ever. So I should have four bones now. Excellent. Now this will still be blocking. 
I maybe could have attacked directly. It's really tough to say. This will become very powerful soon. Time to figure out what the deal is with this elk fawn. Place it here. Can I summon it? I can summon it. So I want to attack this and then move to an empty lane. I'll only be taking two damage, but my next turn I'll be dealing good damage. So I have to do it like this. And then it'll level up. Oh, the mole is really annoying. But it's fine. I'm about to get five damage, so all is good. Skeleton is great here. Pick off another dude. And now I'm in this fight. Sweet. That mole, I don't mind. Wait, I'm about to activate second phase. I don't know what the second phase... No, never mind. I killed the mole. I had that backwards. Ooh, that 2 one's annoying. Okay, so I'm about to have a creature die. If I have this creature die, I can at least summon the sarcophagus on the upcoming turn. So at least it counts for something. Oh, but I could summon the necromancer instead. How about I do that? Let's see what happens. I tip the scales. First phase over. You won't be needing those. I have something better. No! <laughs> oh god, this is awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My beast enjoy a varied diet. I better not be just drawing... Ugh. Okay, I saw the 0-1. I'm like, it's all over. But it's not that bad. So I'm going to place this down. Mole Man's annoying. The Grizzly behind is annoying. I now have four body blockers. Fantastic. At least I get a couple bones from them. Yeah, rip to these guys, though. At least I'll be able to level up my own dude. So I'm going to go Bone Heap here. Leveled up twice. And then drop down the Amalgam. Sacrifice it for the Wolf Cub here. And then block the Grizzly. You know, the free zero ones aren't actually that bad. Come to think of it. I thought they'd be terrible, but they're kind of doing their job. And now we're about to win. Let's go. The power of the zero cost useless creatures. They're basically a squirrel. I even get excess damage. Okay, now we're moving. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. So I kind of, for some reason, assumed that I would be able, or I would not get blood from skeletons. Kind of a reasonable assumption. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw, the scribe of beasts was defeated. That you are able to defeat me beggar's belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Beastly card pack. Nice. I don't think I'll add any of these to my deck. How about this pack? Squirrel ball. Oh uh, yeah, the, it creates squirrels. That's decent. Leap bots. Okay, 49er. So 1-1 one, one and it moves. That's not awful. I might add it to my deck. Do you have anything else to say? The scribe of beast was defeated. My battery is running low. Stop. What is that? What is what? Oh. Oh. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. <laughs> Get owned. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. It's the stoat. Because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet. You stinking beast. Uh, poor guy. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. All beasts are cool except for stoats, I guess. What I can do is go across this bridge now. Because, yeah, he said we fixed it. So this is just the monument. I need to get all four. So let me try to refine my deck to maybe beat this boss. Uh, Krokel is actually pretty bad. I don't want you anymore. I'll add this to my deck. Mole Man's okay. It's a very defensive creature. Might buy me some time so I can get some things. Maybe it's time to get rid of... Maybe the buff conduit. Since I need both of them for them to do anything. It's so unlikely that I'll draw both of them. 
So I'll take one of you. I think I want two mole men. I think I'll just leave my deck at 20. I need it to be thin. 20 good cards and no bad cards, ideally. I'm gonna try once at the boss fight here, but if I if I can't get this even close on my first try, then I'm going to not first try, but you know, first time back. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the other places. Another attempt, very well. I'm still buzzing for the last one on guard. Minions prepare for death, but then life again. Um, I'm not too happy with this opening hand. Maybe I want to do something about sarcophagus. Send it back still. This I could make do with. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go skeleton. I know bone how blocks it. I'll replace it with a fawn, and then I'll place the bone heap right here so the skeleton can go after the bone heap. Or not, yeah, the bone hound can go after the bone heap. And then this will level up. And now I've leveled up myself. Sarcophagus will grow. A pretty good timing, I think. All right, here's how I'm going to go about this. I am going to summon the skeleton. I'm going to destroy it so I have enough bones to summon the revenant to kill this immediately. Marvelous. An opportunity to use my quill. Oh, no. Rip Bonehound. Turn one to turn two. Death by revenant. This one will be back. Oh, God. At least I'll kill the sarcophagus. I can also kill the banshee. No matter. Death is never final. Oh, God. They're all having memoirs. Re that one will be back in no time. Rip sarcophagus. Death by elk. Elk moves. Unit incoming. I can't summon the sarcophagus. I, I think I should get that out of my deck. It's not so hot. I guess if I just place down the Insecto Drone, the Bonehound can move the block and then I can go to next phase. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rip all my cards, turn one to turn five, death by Grimora. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. Well, that sucks. At least I have four bones, so I can do something with that. Bone hound will block. I don't mind. I'll just place the corpse back. I mean, a zero one blocking body is not bad. Tempted to also block the zombie. I should have done this in a different order, I think. No, it's fine. One one. It's not a big deal. Oh, it moves. Okay, I guess I'm blocking the zombie then. Taking two. I should have definitely placed something down. At least my sarcophagus is swimming in it. Mole Man is quite good. It will save me quite a bit of damage. So let's get down this corpse. Sacrifice for Mole Man. And you can just go down wherever. That's still buy me plenty of time. Get him. Thank you, Mole Man. This costs four bones. Now, I think what I will do is actually place my squirrel here so that the mole man blocks the banshee and then the bone hound again dying both these will die giving me four bones oh and then i'll just win won't i uh that's pretty clean i think yeah it looks like i'm gonna get them right now and i'll just place these for good measure all right sweet win yeah rip banshee don't care rip you wait i killed the bone hound I also, yeah, got a little excess damage. Very nice. Extra foils. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear is right. Okay. Two down, two to go. Making moves now. There we go. I like that I've cleaned this up. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I see that it is your ambition to replace Magnificus, but, well, between you and I... There will come an opportunity to change your mind, and I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Alright, Deathly Card Packs could be good. Tomb Robber. Activate, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. It's not bad. Grizzly's okay. Sarcophagus is a little bit overpriced, I'm finding. But then again, it's, it's good when it works. Pharaoh's Pets. It costs six bones, but it gives three blood and is undying. There's some interesting ones here. Maybe the Pharaoh's Pets I could try to squeak out. Except it costs six. 
But if I remove some bone cards from my deck, this will suddenly become better. Battery is low. Uh-oh. God, okay, hold on. Can I stop this effect from happening? Cam works. Battery fully charged. Oh god, more videos. Well, let's watch some videos. I think I've just got to send it. Hello there. Exclamation point. Is this game some sort of elaborate hoax from what I skimmed? All right, so we sent an email to these people and it wants to find out more information. I'm not watching this whole video. Strange video. He's asking his audience if anyone knows anything about this inscription card game. Okay, so his subscribers got to help him out. He said he has been able to find a copy online. Hopefully the internet can tell him that something else exists. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is the card? Hmm. I don't want to translate this. <laughs> oh god, I probably could. I don't care enough. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game cleaner hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. Hmm. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. That's an aggressive email. I don't think they can enforce that. <laughs> that is <What> extremely <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed too. All right, we got a broken video. Excellent. I think this woman's actually from Game Thuna. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Ooh. This I'm not jumping through. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. <laughs> really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the luckycartergmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Really? Because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Oh. One of my viewers came to my Thanks house. I would never answer the door. <laughs> Fuck that. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, look. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, he should get a gun. Give me a call. Okay. Will do. He should get a gun. Okay. Oh boy. A business card, huh? Another inscription what card. What the fuck? <laughs> yep. Another error. What is this? Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening secret. <laughs> I am not pissed off at all. For that sweet, sweet foil this is just a normal video where I am extremely composed and just focused and ready to do the video damn oh god that is the final one this one's just another error well camera's charged up let's go for another round i assume we're recording the game that's what's going on yeah go i need to collect my thoughts right i wanted to work on my deck well what's this who are you? Uh, uh oh, you have found us here. This is good. This is good. We require, we require, we require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. I have duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Oh, you want two of those. The, um, 
The bone card. Oh, well, I was going to take some of these new cards and add them to my deck. So what do I think is bad? Sarcophagus, maybe. Or maybe it's not Sarcophagus. Maybe it's the Revenant, which kind of stinks. Yeah, it's three bones for a perishing creature. That's not great. You know what? As weird as this is, I will add a single Grizzly to my deck. It might be good to have a little bit more late game. I could get rid of Sarcophagus then, so I don't have too much late game in my deck. And then I can replace that with something small. Something that could stall the late game, like Mole Man. Mole Man's pretty good. So I will leave it there. I'm going to check these out. Let's go to the electricity one. I would rather get electricity cards. What is up? Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. You would say that's stoat. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. Okay, so I gotta go fight his workers. Maybe build up my deck. Ooh, I found a card pack in the trash. Electricity card pack. A Gamblo bot. Pay one energy to set the power of Gamble bot randomly between one and six. There's one health, which kind of stinks. Shutterbug. When Shutterbug damages another creature, that creature perishes. Also, when a creature moves into the space opposing Shutterbug, they're dealt one damage. Oh, I got a second Gravedigger. I could go back to the, the people. Hold on, we're going to the, the mushroom people. I got you. We require for experiments. We require duplicates to see a diagram. Yeah. Oh, you have the cards. Sacrifice two of my Gravedigger cards? Sure. I assume it'll make a 0-6, right? This is good. Close your eyes. This will be gruesome. <laughs> they even have you close your eyes here. Hand over the recording camera. Here is your prize. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I get two bones at the end of each turn. That is, I think, an even better upgrade. Your experiments must continue. You're looking for that? It's this. It's the field mice card. I have only one field mouse. Looking for a second field mouse. Okay, I'm now ready here. Let's head left first. Why not? Another trader. You wish to trade? Meat body count is three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. I could take this for the sake of the grizzly. I could try it. I think I have too many bone related things. I should spend all my bone things on the four cost, the three cost, and the four cost. What I could do instead is get rid of, yeah, I could get rid of bone heaps. Could add in this sacrificial thing and then maybe a two cost blood thing. <laughs> could be a seven, seven. You know what? Screw it. I'll take the seven, seven. Uh, I've got a lot more late game. Uh, well, the fights have to be here, surely. What? Oh, it's a puzzle. Plus one. Do I have to place both? I'm so confused what it's doing. Do I have to plus zero, then plus one? Or maybe have it be in between? All right. A series of puzzles. We have to get the middle numbers to add up to what they want. We got two out of six. Well, we'll make them both threes. Also teaching me how that ability works. Just a couple puzzles up here. Ooh, I got a card pack. Even better. A fake droid. When explode bot dies, creature opposing it as well as adjacent friendly creatures are dealt tam 10 damage. What the? Not too hot on any of those cards. What's this? Another card pack. Thank you. Hold on, a Mox Module. While Mox Module's on the board, it provides a green, orange, and blue gem to its owner. Now I'm seeing the synergy starting to take place. There's actually starting to become a lot of decks I can work with here. Now that I'm starting to get a wide variety, you can do some cool stuff. Uh, can't you see that I'm very busy here? What, PO3 isn't happy with my output? By merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to just are you? To be carrying orders from PO3. PO3 would only trust someone with, with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. So we'll battle. Okay, decent options here. So here's how it's going to go. I'm going to get my Sentry Drone to kill this. And I'm going to get the Elk Fawn down. And I'll get Mole Man down next turn. <gasps> oh! 
Wait, I get a free shot though. This has zero damage, right? Yes! Saved! <laughs> and it levels up anyway. So skeleton, I guess, could be used to summon the mole man. I suppose it could. It's not terrible. Let's place you right here. These are useless. That's fine. I'll just place the 49er down here. We'll eventually kill this. And I'm dealing enough damage to pretty much get him next turn. So it's kind of over. I don't need to do anything else. Nice fight. As you can see, I'm worthy. You know, maybe my deck just doesn't need to change any at all. Maybe it's just a solid deck now. As I mentioned, I'm a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I can send myself. I'm proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. No! That's so sad. Damn, they were that ashamed of losing to me in a card battle. You shouldn't be. I'm totally a great card battler and, you know, didn't fluke into a good deck. It's... No, definitely not. So I have to get to two out of four. Well, wouldn't this... Well, three and minus one. Oh, so that comes out to four. I see. I feel like that's a hard one to mess up. Even if you don't fully understand the implications, you're going to probably get it right. This one, not so much. This is a circuit breaker, it would seem. Can I replace these? I can replace these numbers. I will place a one here, a zero here. Oh, but I gotta do something with this. I'll have this break off and a negative one on the other side. There we go. Yeah, so power can't get through. I'll talk to you in a second. Oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta get through you. Let me out. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. What was that? We are, I am, the Melter. They send me raw materials and I... Well, you can see how it works. Let me out. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. Should be fun. Okay, conduits coming up. I don't think I like this hand. Actually, realizing the Spore Digger might not be what my deck needs anymore. Factory conduits spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. Great, so I need to kill that, basically. Let's send it back. Well, so how it's got to go then, I got a... Sentry Drone is going to go right here. In case the Leap Bot it spawns has 1 HP, this may pick it off. And then what I'm going to do pretty much immediately is summon this... Whoops, I did wrong. Kill it. And now summon this. I think also in the middle. Because at least they'll also be body blockers. So they get Leap Bots. They have one attack. Great. Get a free shot, but that don't matter. Two bones. I'm going to save this to pick off this leap bot. And then sarcophagus will do some good stuff shortly. Factory conduit must die. I guess I'll do the drowned soul. It's quicker. Yeah, it's a lot quicker. Very nice. And more bones. Okay, leap bots I don't really care about. We still kill this. And the sarcophagus. Well, this is about to deal zero damage. I'll just plop this down, and just in case, I'll plop this down if that happens to matter. I feel as though I'm in a fairly good spot. And sarcophagus levels up. I drown souls back. Buff conduit I don't care about. And I'll just let it ride again. No circuit for you. Wonderful. I will take this elk. I mean, it, it's they're basically a dead man walking. They, they really don't have that much time before it's all over. Just waiting for the little bit extra damage to come in. Any moment now. Well, it should be this turn, eh? Yeah, it should. Sweet! Okay, this deck is now powerful. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for his scanner. That is difficult, you see. I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. You too? Oh no. Yes for PO3. Well, that's sad. Well, anyways, I'm gonna check out what's in these loot boxes. More puzzles. I'm at negative five. 
So I will replace this negative two. No, hold on. Bring this back. I'm gonna place this on the edge. I'm gonna place this on the edge. What does this come out to? Three, possibly? No, it only comes out to two. How the hell can I get three? I mean, I covered up... Wait, can I put this here? Oh, that gives me three. Duh. I covered up the wrong one accidentally. Nice. Another puzzle. Only have to get to five. It's very possible to overshoot this. It's like I need to block off the minus one here. And then get a plus one going. And then a zero. But that's wrong. Maybe in a plus one, minus one. And then... Cover this up with four out of five, and then cover this up for a zero. There we go. Five out of five. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. What is this? Trap door. We're in the basement. Okay, there's another factory worker. Through here, we get a card pack. Very nice. Thick droid. Plasma Jimmy. Pay one energy of deal one damage to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. That's an interesting one. That probably is repeatable. I might do it. Maybe even two plasma jimmies. I like that more than the gamble bots. I mean, that's not what I'm replacing. I want to get some plasma jimmies in here. I do want to get two cards out of my deck. I'll get rid of insect the drone for sure. And then possibly just the sentry drone. I think it's low impact. My deck has improved. Sue, what are you up to? Oi, mate, I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders in it. Look into dredge something, something special. We can duel. I maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. It's time. I think I want to get down the mole man right away. Or I could re-roll. The rail lead's no good. And this is also late game. But this is really good early game. So I think I'm, I'm cool just top decking whatever for the next while. Get him down. Know what? Mate. Can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this one. What? Ear? Take your pack? You received a techno card pack? You just gave up? <laughs> what? Now off with ye. I need to concentrate. Oi. Is that? PO3 is gonna reward me big for this one? What? What? What, what are these symbols being flashed? What? Why? Okay, I guess I'll go to PO3. Well, surely we can duel now. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all my workers, and you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then.